Welcome back, everyone. Here we are in the DLC content. It's time for us to take out the first guardian of the area, as well as I think we're going to go all the way through Artorias for this episode here. So I actually don't remember the pattern for this boss. He's really easy if you remember his pattern. So I'm just going to run up and swing at him a few times. Okay, so one of the things he does, he shoots those long range spells. You just got to dodge each time. You probably really want to have a, uh, you know, less than 25% equipment burning so you can do all the dodging required for this boss, which is generally the case for a lot of bosses. Uh, well, I rolled into that one. That was a swipe. Uh, every once in a while. Okay, so that's a cone attack. He, he's just chaining them together here. It's hard for me to explain these, but generally for the most part, a lot of his stuff, you're going to be needing to jump to the side. Um, jumping backwards doesn't always help. He likes to do a triple swipe whenever you're in melee range. When you're far away, he'll shoot those little lightning bolts. If you are going to do blocking for this, I would recommend getting a shield with high lightning resist. That would probably be the uh, the tower shield that you get from the, the not the depths, but uh, from Blight Town. Yeah, the depth, the shield that you get from Blight Town. I can't remember the name of it for some reason. Uh, you can get a weapon from this enemy here. You can chop off his tail, and it gives you a whip, which is completely useless, in my opinion. And if you get hit with his tail, you get poisoned, if I remember correctly, but it doesn't do too many attacks with the tail. Right, so, man, I'm not doing so well. I'm thinking I'm going to die here. Yeah. He's probably going to kill me right before I get this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. I'm, I'm just going to tear him up this time. I'm not even going to let him attack. Um, so I gave him I gave him a chance to be awesome. Now we're gonna go in and just completely go ham on him. But that's the that's the goal, anyways. We'll see if I pull that off. I've got my power within, so that's pretty much my only pyromancy. I I'm eventually going to level up my pyromancy. I'll probably do it like after I beat all the DLC content. Right before I uh, go to New Game Plus, I'll go buy all the pyromancies and I'll level up my pyromancy gloves. So if you guys are use, are pyromancers and you need some advice on that stuff, we'll do that probably in a couple of episodes. But for now, let's go back to the boss and not not scrub mode this. Let's, let's try not to be scrubs this time. So we're going to turn on power within before we walk in because he's going to be ready to attack us as soon as we get in here. All right. So let's, uh, let's whip it out here. Let's see what he does first. He's probably going to shoot. Me. Oh, oops. Okay. Well, already failing. <laughs> and triple swipe. Nope. Headbutt. Crap. Too slow. Yeah, this guy's fast. You have to be pretty quick when you're fighting this guy. Damn it, I'm already half health. Okay. Uh, you will not get the best of me, you silly creature. Guardian. Alright, so there you go. Now we got the best of him. There we, yeah, there, that is where he uses his tail and poison me. And let's just keep it. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. I told you I was going to go ham on him. As soon as you get behind that guy, if you have enough damage, just, just destroy him. So he didn't even get a chance to use all of his attacks. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and grab our souls right here. <laughs> Retrieval. And now we gotta I always I don't know why. Every time I come here and beat the boss, I get disoriented. I don't know where the entrance and the exit is. Alright, so which way did I come in at? Uh, is it over here? Is that no, that's just a wall, I think. Let me see. I can't tell. Nope, yeah, that's definitely a wall. Yeah, it was just really dark. Couldn't tell if that was where I needed to go or not. <laughs> Crap. Uh oh wait, there we go. There's the pillars I need to head to right there, so uh, wait. I just died. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, wow. So yeah, I had the toxic on me from his tail. I didn't even, I wasn't even watching my health. It was like, oh, I beat the boss. There's nothing dangerous. GG. All right. <laughs> so all I'm going to do now, <laughs> wow. Uh, I bet you guys were sitting there watching that going, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Oh, man, I'm embarrassed. Well, anyways, now we know where to go, right? That was, that was, that was the goal all along, to, to see where the entrance was. Died on purpose. Yeah, that, that's what happened. Anyhow, I'm gonna grab my souls and head on through. That's a lot of walking here. I think eventually I want to grab the Balder side sword. I know I never farmed it, but it is a good weapon since I am doing a dex build. Once I start doing some PvP, it's good to have a, a good mix of weapons to kind of have fun with. So the the scythe is is definitely gonna be my main go-to weapon. It's got the most damage, and it's got a really cool move set. Then I'll use the spear for finishing people up every once in a while, and then the boulder knight or the boulder side sword is really good as well. All right, so we'll light this bonfire over here. Now there should be a mushroom that we can talk to, which will you know give us some some different stuff. Oh, oh, okay. I actually killed the Ulysil princess, 
So the mushroom is not there, and you just get the item. I wonder if that is saying that like the princess gets turned into a mushroom back in this other world. I don't, I don't know. That's dumb. Anyways, if you didn't kill her, you can talk to the mushroom. It's kind of a weird thing, and talks to you and different different stuff. Kind of cool dialogue, but whatever. So I'm gonna cross this bridge. You can go left or right here. I always go to the right. Seems like the best spot for me. And uh, there's these guys with pitchforks. And they can be kind of annoying. They don't have a lot of health, so you can take them out fairly quickly. If you want to farm them, they actually will drop those pitchfork spears, which I don't think they're that great, but they're kind of cool just for uh, just for kicks. And then I think they drop scissors, too. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Uh, I might have to look that up, but yeah, there is, uh, they do have some weird weapons. So I'm going to skip past those guardians, those big guys. They are actually pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. They are really tough. And there's not a lot of reason for me to fight any of the enemies here, actually, since I, if I can remember. Alright, I think I'm supposed to drop down there, but I'm just going to double check. So you come around this way and go around the corner. Yep, that was right. Alright, just making sure. It's been a little while since I've been here. There should be a lot of enemies here. A giant and like two, three of those guys. Uh, this is one thing I like about this Great Scythe, is if you're doing the running animation, you can actually... I'm going to grab that item. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Oh my god, there's so many guys. Alright, screw it. You can keep your item. I'm just going to run past you. So yeah, the, the running attack on the side is really cool. Because it's like you can just keep on going. Whack! Alright, I'm not scared of any dragon. I'm not afraid of you. That is the Black Dragon Kalamit, which we will actually fight him later. Uh, in fact, he's not even important. You don't have to fight him, but... You know, I mean, that's part of the DLC is just enjoying yourself and... Having fun. Oh, no, no. Let's kill it. Oh, whoa. That was sneaky. I almost fell off the edge. It's really hard to kill those little lizards with this weapon. I had to use the Silver Knight Spear. Okay, we're going to drop down right there. You can kind of explore a little bit around this area if you run backwards a little bit. And you'll grab some Guardian Armor if you want to complete all of the armor sets. Uh, I don't think it's actually that good to use. It's still not as good as the Giant Armor that you can buy off of the Giant Blacksmith in Anorlando. But, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of neat oh. to have. Oh god, they actually caught me? Wow, these guys are fast! They're like lightning. I need, to, I need to practice my running skills, apparently. What you want to do is you want to run over to this area right here, and there is a shortcut you can unlock if you just step on this platform, whoop, and it goes all the way down. Now, if we do die, we can quickly get back to here, because we're about to fight a pretty difficult guy. His, uh, this is the great knight Artorius, and he's gotten corrupted by the abyss. Normally he's like a good guy, or uh, I mean by the lore anyways, but you'll, you'll notice in a second, you'll see all the corruption seeping out of him whenever we uh, get past this stupid, there we go, nice little, oh there's another one, Ooh. okay, <laughs> oh man, these guys like to smash me, if I can remember where to go here, uh, I think I'm getting like confused as to where I'm at, damn it, get out of the way, oh my god, this is what I'm talking about, these guys, they, they're fast too, alright, let me go back down here, I feel like I'm in the wrong spot for some reason. It's been a while since I've done the DLC, so you have to forgive me here. Okay, let's run. Oh, well, there pff, it was right there. Um, oh, that was not the real shortcut. Okay, so this is the entire. This is the area that has all the shortcuts. So before we go to the Artorias fight, we're actually gonna unlock the the actual shortcut. So we need to head this direction over here. And oh yeah, this is Chester. Mm. You can uh, you can talk to him. He'll sell you a few so items. You can leave them open if you if you want to buy the uh, the blooming yeah, green gra whatever it's called the the green piece. blossoms. Yeah, the green yeah. Let's look at it. Uh, green blossom. Yeah. So those are actually good to buy for PVP later on. Just buy like as many as you can possibly buy. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go to the guy at Sin's Fortress to buy them. But I do. I always kill this guy because of the fact that uh, Chester gives you a really cool set of gear. He's also really fun to fight. Um, let's buy his humanity. Usually they only sell one humanity. Uh, so whatever. That's good enough. So let's fight Chester. He looks really cool. If you want to look really cool and Ooh, play dress up and cosplay and use his helmet, then, you know, it's good. Wow. He actually can poison you with those little arrows. He has some moves that no other enemies, no other humanoid type enemies really have in this game. Uh, he has a cool, like, under... Like a little sweeping attack. I wish you can do that sweeping attack. That would be the coolest. Like, you can do the little kick and stuff and things like that. But his, uh, yeah, look at that. That is so awesome. It's, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark here. But, uh, but yeah, that sweeping attack is really cool. And then he shoots his crossbow a lot at you. Does some weird little jukes. Let's not, let's not get wrecked by this. This guy's actually pretty strong. You can. It's easy to get wrecked by him if you're not careful. Also, wish I can do a, an attack that threw out those little daggers. Those are really cool. Please. Anyhow, mercy. then he starts crying for, for mercy once you beat him. 
snickering top hat. Okie dokie, uh, I think that's good there, and let's see if I need to put on anything else. Oh yeah, let's just try out the gear, let you see what it looks like on me. So it doesn't look as good just by itself, I don't think. Yeah, see, with this armor, like the armor I have right now, it's kind of big, so it's like, it's unproportionate. But if you put on his coat, it looks really nice. Yeah, there we go. That looks much better. It's not, I don't have these giant shoulder blades on anymore. So, so that's a cool for cosplay. You can run around if you're going to invade people and you just want to look cool rather than like be strong. Then that's really fun to mess with. Okay, anything else here that I need to check out? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and put my gear back on. Royal Helm and Armor of the Sun. There we go. Yeah, you'll notice I just left it at plus six rather than using all my Titanite chunks. And up we go. Now, I'm actually going to have to come right back down, but that's where you need to head. And let's see, up here is... Uh, oh, yeah, there's the Guardian Gauntlets. Yeah, the, the Guardian set is kind of hidden throughout the entire area of this first zone here. You're just going to... You're going to have to look if you want the entire set. Okay, anyways, back out across the bridge, and now it's time to fight Artorius. Oh, man, this guy is a beast. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, Arturius, I'm coming for you. Hope you're ready. This fight is pretty tough, man. I'm I'm pretty good soul level for this, though. I mean, if I was coming here earlier, it would be a lot harder. Uh, later, I'll probably do a low soul level run through. I don't know, something like that. Okay, Arturius. Are you ready for me, buddy? Yeah, he's scary as hell. Look at that. He just stabbing those little creatures, which we'll fight those creatures in a little bit, too. And you'll see all that blue crap seeping out of him. That's all the corruption of the abyss. Those those little creatures, the one he just killed, is actually uh, what no, used to be a human, but they, they got completely corrupted by the abyss. So I guess, I guess he's just teetering on the edge of madness right now or whatever. Now, you can get his sword and his armor. All of that stuff you can get. So you can look just like Artorias. Really cool. Oh man, creepy, creepy. Alright, he's got some really strong attacks, and so you're gonna have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and put power within on and see if we can do it before he hits me, please. Oh my god, he's coming for me! Oh, nice. Well, no, actually, I got hit. Oh crap, let me out of the corner, ass. Damn it! I hate those swimming attacks that, like, bounce you. Okay, now we're half health. Let's heal up before he kills me. Not after we dodge. Okay, if I dodge, I can heal. And there we go. Alright, there's that. He's gonna do it again. Nope, never mind. Thought he was. Alright, get a few attacks off, and to the left, and he's going to do this one twice, but, oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, well, for some reason, I guess I had enough poise for that. Oh, he's charging up. If you can hit him three times, you got to hit him three times. Ah, crap. Now he's going to be really powerful. He's probably going to kill me now. Alright, if you let him charge up, uh, I don't, it's not based on damage. You have to hit him three times, and he'll actually, oh, God. Yeah, then he will, he'll, uh, it'll interrupt that. Otherwise, he'll do that little AoE. Oh, wow, that... That should have been easily dodged. A lot of his stuff, you can jump to the left or the right, and you'll dodge most of his attacks. Uh, every once in a while, he'll do like a sweeping AOE where you have to jump backwards. All right, so let's try that again without without sucking. And I'll show you the, the actual shortcut here too, I believe. is Well, I only have five SS, but I think I can beat him with just five. I'm not really worried about it. I don't feel like, I don't feel like stroking this flame here, as you would call it. So we are going to head right across this bridge. Same path we took earlier. We're going to head to the right. But instead of heading all the way to the left through the forest, we unlocked the little elevator shortcut. So Normally that Artorias fight is not so bad once you learn his pattern. I guess, uh, you know, I was a little bit rusty. It's been a while since I fought him, so, you know, every time I come back to this game, I have to make a few mistakes and then... I start learning the fights again. I'm like, all right, now I remember how to do it. Arturias was definitely a uh, annoying guy, but he's nowhere near as bad as the final boss, Manus. Oh my God, you're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate Manus if you don't already. If you <laughs> if you're watching this and you've played against Manus, you know what I'm talking about. He's a beast. Like I I've yet to figure out his his move sets 100% correctly. I can I can beat him, but yeah. Anyways, that's that's for later. We'll talk about that when we get there. Anyhow. Let's head this direction, go across the bridge where we fought Chester. And now we're back to begin. Oh, by the way, you'll notice I, I, I set that elevator over again. A lot of times when you're doing this area and you're doing the shortcuts, you need to put the elevator back up. That way you don't have to wait for it each time you come back through. All right, so we're going to do power within before we go in this time because he's going to be ready to go for it. He's going to go right away. He should jump right at you. 
And there's the leap, and to the left. Oh, actually, he just over, jumped over my head. Okay. Got the retrieval in case I die. And let's jump to the left. No, didn't matter. Let's see if I can get one in. I want to get some attacks before my power within wears off. There we go. Let's do the running attack. That's a lot of damage. Nice. I got two off, and I was able to dodge. Oh, that one, I got hit. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell if he's going to do two. Oh, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. If I can get him three times. One. Two and three. Oh, that was close. He almost got it off on me. So there we go. And oh, ouch, that hurt. And let's see. I think I'm reading him correctly this time. Oh crap. Sometimes I mess up my heels. Should have dodged first. Ooh, that, was, that was a double swing. He he's similar to the Great Will Sif. If you watch the way he swings his sword at you, he does the the double the double AOE swings. That's just like the Sif fight. If you if you uh, think about it. So they did a good job of kind of like. Uh, showing that Sip is his companion and stuff like that. So I think I'm ready to just destroy him here. Once you get him low enough, if you have a weapon like mine that does a ton of damage, you can just just clean him up. So there we go. Soul of Artorias. Now, if you after you die and come back, or I think you have to reload or something like that, there should be uh, a friend of his there, and we'll, we'll do that in just a second. First off, though, we need to go over here, and this will be your main bonfire for the rest of the zone. So go ahead and stroke this fire. As much as you can, um, kindle it all the way to the max, and so we're gonna pop some humanity and get that done. So this episode is just about over, but before we end it, I'm gonna show you his uh, his little friend. So I gotta figure out. I think if we refresh it here, we should be good. All right, so restore humanity. Now in this area, if you're if you're in the zone and you're around level 70 to 80 or so, you're probably gonna get invaded a lot because this is where people actually PVP. So if you don't want to get invaded uh, like constantly, then you're you're just gonna need to go the rest of the DLC content solo. But uh, if you want to do this with a friend, you're gonna have to just accept the fact that you're gonna be invaded a lot. All right, so let me just skip to this part where I've uh, you know I've gotten the chick to spawn. So she's gonna be sitting here, and she's not hostile right away. She's just kind of mourning the loss Ooh, of her buddy. And you can see she made a little man. effigy for him. And, or not really an effigy, more of a just, just tombstone, I guess. She wants you to give you give her the soul of Arturis, but tell her to go screw herself. She's not happy about that, but she's still not gonna fight you. You do want to fight her though, because she gives you lots of cool stuff. All right, so let's let's go ahead. And, uh, I can't backstab her. All right, so let's give her a chance to attack us a few times. She's got some cool weapons. She does she does a dual wield. They don't really have uh, dual wielding built into this game, uh, technically. You can't like attack with both weapons at the same time. That's actually something I'm really excited for in Dark Souls 2. You can attack with both weapons at the same time. Yeah. So that weapon right there does a lot of. In fact, both of her weapons do a lot of bleed effect. She's got a dagger in one hand and like a, uh, just a, uh, not really a great sword, I guess, but a long sword in the other, a curved long sword. She's pretty easy. Just take her out. She gets that bleed effect on you. That's gonna hurt really bad. So now you get both of those. You get the silver gold tracer, or, or sorry, the gold tracer and the silver tracer, and those are really nice. Uh, Silver Tracer is a nice little dagger. The Gold Tracer is a really good sword, actually, and the moveset's pretty cool on it. It seems really nice to, to use for fighting. It's got decent range. It's okay. Um, but let's just jump before the end of this episode. Um, I'm gonna, I just got invaded because, like I said, you will get invaded in this zone. This guy's got some Artorias armor on, which, by the way, you can buy a lot of armor from the guy underneath the bridge at Firelink Shrine. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's, this is the guy. He's, uh, he's actually hiding his weapon from me. So we're going to do a backstab. There we go. There's the backstab. Get that off, and well, that guy's weak. That guy was a scrub. He must have been either low level or just not very good at PvP. I'm not sure. But anyways, took him out. There's a kind of a preview for the next episode. I think next episode we're gonna do full on PvP, full on PvP episode for you guys, so you can kind of see some of that in action. But uh, for now, that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll do some PvP, and then we'll go beat the final boss of the game. So I'll see you around for the next one. Oh. Not final boss of the game, but the, of the DLC. So, whatever. You get the point. We've got Black Dragon Calamite, and we've got the Dark Lord Manus. Um, and after that, what else do we have? We've got, um, yeah, the, I guess the final boss before New Game Plus. So, so those are the the couple of things that we have available to us. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna get, if you want to get invaded in this zone, then um, you usually. People get to like you know 100 to 120 soul level. That way anyone can invade them. They're low. Like if you're level 80 and you try and invade, you can go up against people that are like soul level 130. But vice versa, it doesn't work that way. I don't think you can't get invaded by someone who's like a level 130 
at level 80. So that's kind of what you have to, to keep in mind. If you if you want to do PvP in this zone, it's usually good to not kill the final boss. Or, sorry, by the final boss, I mean Manus. It's good to not kill Manus because uh, of the fact that you won't get invaded anymore due to the, you know, the law of... You can't be invaded after you've beaten the zone boss, essentially, so... All right, enough chatting for now. Um, I was just kind of standing around to see if I got invaded again. I don't guess I'm going to, so we'll end the episode here. And uh, like I said, next episode is PvP. I'll see you guys around for that one. This is Kobe Cheese. Peace out.